Good evening, everybody. Uh, flying Crow back at you with another small update. Just to let you know what I've been up to. As you can see from my background, I've been painting some trees. So I uh, also was in my train room tonight putting insulation in the roof or in the ceiling to prepare for installing the electricity and installing the air conditioner. Because of course when I get the air conditioner in, I'm going to need it to be, to be all insulated or mostly insulated. So that's what I was doing tonight. Put some insulation and then I thought I'd take a break and uh, paint some trees on my backdrop. So that's what I have been doing. So I just thought I would, uh, I'll just kind of pan across. Back to the uh, back wall over there. Kind of zoom in. That's uh, that's actually number 37 waiting to come into the yard. So 37 was uh, picking up empties at the paper mill. That's why uh, you got that mix: tank car, pulpwood car, box cars. So, thought you might like to see that. There's my mess. And I was just, uh, sorry. I was just doing, like I said, doing a little painting here. Uh, you've seen my other video about painting, and that was basically what I did this time. Same thing. Uh, I just went to, uh, the only thing I did this time was I kind of put some gra ground in. So, as you can see, I've got some... Uh, slight hills which is uh, consistent with what's down in Louisiana uh, there's really no big hills down here but uh, I put in some hills and you can see some field there and uh, some trees in the distance and that's what I was doing today and thought I'd get get some of that done and as you can see as I pan down I've made it appear that the trees get closer and get larger, so that's what it's gonna. That's what it's gonna look like. It looks like the uh, forest is getting closer to the uh, to the yard there. So I will have some building flats also in the background, and I think that'll help the scenery some. Um, but. Since the train's ready to pull into the yard, I'm going to go ahead and run it in there and run it by and let you all take a look at it. And here we go. So as it's coming on, if I make it... Uh, Make it go the right direction that would help right <laughs> I don't want to back it up anymore so so there it comes and like I say I don't want to focus on my mess too long because that's down where I was painting I had my paper plates and my paints down there uh, while it's moving one one suggestion that I might have left out of my other video uh, when you're painting trees on your backdrop and remember I'm tra painting trees kind of as a background I'm not putting detailed trees in so one thing you really want to do if you try this yourself is remember to never use one color of paint use a minimum of three and never use any paint uh, straight out of the tube or the bottle uh, don't use solid green or solid yellow or solid blue. Mix them first. Uh, use, use a lot of black and white to make the tints different. Uh, that would, that'll really help the realism there as you're, as you're painting. So uh, just remember when you're, uh, when you're painting to do that, uh, vary the uh, vary the texture of the trees uh, the distance as you get further in the distance remember they're going to be seen up a little bit higher 
but they're going to start higher as well. And also, as they get in the distance, they're going to be more of a solid color and a solid texture. And the closer they get, they're going to be, uh, the color's going to start to vary even more. And that'll give you a lot of depth in the scene. So, we'll just zoom around there until we get to a good, good part of the yard. And I hope you like that scene there. Let the uh, let our train come into the picture here. There it is. Now, well, that's a nice little shot, little rail fan shot for you. My two F units, uh, those are Walther uh, Proto 2000 F units pulling, pulling my load there. Uh, you can see they're running on my track real well. I'm pleased with my track work finally. <laughs> don't have any uh, dead spots in it. Those Proto 2000s don't have any keep alive, so they're, uh, they're running on, under their own power. So anyway, there they are running by and coming up is the caboose. So I'm going to take that train and stop it and classify the cars. And I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, this little update. Y'all take it easy.